Hey friends, welcome back to Prophetic with Suzanne. I'm just dropping in with a quick word from the word this afternoon. Um, I'm going to share out of Acts 16. I shared this in a Bible study this morning. I did a quick teaching and so I'm going to share it here now. So um, Acts 16 starting at verse 6 through 10. This is where Paul and Silas were going through the cities and then Timothy joined them as they were preaching the gospel. And it said that, you know, as they were preaching to the apostles and elders, the churches were strengthened and increasing every day in number. Okay, so then we're gonna talk about the Macedonia call. So now when they had gone through Phrygia and the region, the region of Galatia, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. After they had come to Mysia, they tried to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit did not permit them. So passing by Mysia, they came down to Troas, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Now, after he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. So I'm just going to say, you know, we'll title this, The Lord Will Come to You. There are times that God comes to us, you know, but... They were knocking on doors. They tried to go to Asia. The Holy Spirit didn't permit them. They tried to go to Mysia, Bithynia. So they're knocking, right? They're going to one place after another, after another, because they know that they're called to preach the gospel. They know that, you know, they've got to continue their journey. So they're not doing anything wrong. They're knocking on all the doors, but none of the doors were open. It said the Holy Spirit would not permit them. You know, so there's times when we keep knocking and all we can do is stand. So they went to sleep and Paul had a vision in the night and he got his suddenly in that one vision. He saw the man saying, come to Macedonia and help us. So immediately it says, you know, he woke up, he had the vision and immediately we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. So their door finally opened, you know, but the, the testimony is that God came to them. You know, God knows how to come to us with a quick dream or a vision that will completely reroute our steps. You know, when we're knocking on those doors and we're doing what we're called to do, they were doing what they were called to do, you know, but then the vision came to them. So there's times where the Holy Spirit, the Lord will just come to us. You know, I have had times where the Lord came to me and it changed the course of my life. You know, God is good, but I just hear that there's going to be a suddenly and immediately, you know, where you've been knocking and you've been waiting and God's going to come with a vision or a dream or a word that's going to change everything in a moment's notice. He just comes that quick sometimes. So I just pray that this encourages somebody and know that whatever you're trying to do, God is with you, he's for you, he loves you, and he's the one that's gonna open the door. You're not gonna miss it. You know, Paul and, and Silas and Timothy, they did not miss it. As soon as Paul got the vision, they were back on their way and they were successful on their journey. So know that God has a great plan for you and he's gonna come with you immediately. Your suddenly is gonna come in Jesus name. So I hope this blesses somebody today. I love you guys. Y'all are awesome and I'll be back soon.